No doubt there's plenty of challenges for the state and for local school districts when it comes to keeping kids in school while protecting them from COVID-19. But what about keeping kids safe from other threats? As 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer explained, some of the programs recommended in the wake of the Parkland shooting have lost their funding or are now on hold. After the 2018 shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School, state lawmakers allocated $67 million to make sure every school had armed security as part of the statewide Guardian program. Money not spent the first year was carried over to 2020, but then came COVID-19, and unspent funds for future training and to keep the program running were reallocated. And it was on the governor's veto list, and there was about $41.5 million of the original 67 that was still sitting there there on June 30th of this year. The state took that money back and in essence defunded the Guardian program. Many counties like Polk got their training done early so officers would be ready for the upcoming school year. But other districts were so focused on figuring out the COVID crisis, they hadn't yet trained their guardians or bought them equipment. Sheriff Bob Galtieri, who chairs the state commission formed following the Stoneman Douglas shooting, says he expects the program to be short this year, around $5 million statewide. And we're going to try and look for money and see if there's any funding sources out there and available. If not, then it's really going to fall back to uh, the individual school districts. 43 of the state's 67 school districts use guardians to protect schools. There's currently around 1,200 guardians trained and in place to protect kids, a number many districts are still trying to grow. The immediate thing that's on the table is to make sure that these guardian academies can be done and that we can make sure that there is that good person with a gun, that safe school officer that's required on every charter elementary, middle, and high school campus in the state of Florida, and that that is sustainable uh, throughout this year. Now, we caught up with Baltieri just a few minutes ago. You may remember he tested positive for COVID-19 earlier this month. He said he is feeling better now, but smell and he can't smell or taste anything. Still, he is urging everyone to take this virus seriously.